another day another episode of the driver's seat and here we are today at a nice another alfresco uh, outdoorsy place uh, and today it's gonna be a bit more of uh, an in-house interview i suppose you can call it that we've got uh, a few new things that we've been innovating throughout the year uh, with Carlis in order to offer our buyers uh, more security with regard to purchases as well as uh, to make sure that we are also constantly innovating with the services we are offering right with regard to uh, selling cars on carlis.my so the best person to tell us more about it today is none other than mr ky gun the managing director of carlis.my and welcome ky please come join us have a seat let's have a chit chat first thank you for joining us Right. Before we kick off though, tell us about the car we have here. Uh, well, it is a BMW M6 E63 model. Okay. Uh, I had it for about almost 8 years already by now. Wow, okay, okay. So fun car, weekend car, everyday car? Uh, it's more of a weekend car. Initially when I bought it, uh, it's, it's a daily car. Okay, so okay. So 8 years later, it's more of a weekend car. I see, okay. So what's your most memorable trip you've done on this so far? Um, I think it's just pretty much uh, JB trips. I also okay. enjoy driving down to JB uh, okay. because the highways are straight uh, and you know with the B10. Yes. <laughs> it looks, yes. It makes a lot more yes. Sense, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What's the fastest you've gone? Um, about three hundred. <laughs> wow! Okay. 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 That 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 brings us nicely then I suppose into the into the into the interview part of yeah. of, of today's session. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Kali is not my right recently we've introduced uh this thing called uh Kali's buyer protection yeah. right so we see that logo on some of the offerings on our website mm -hmm. right so what's brought that about is is how does this offer that added level of security for buyers who come to the site to to purchase a car well Kali's dot my has always been about trust uh, and has always been about safety for buyers sure um so if we rewind back a little bit, Kali.by is the only website that introduced uh, trusted dealers. Sure. And that was yeah. many years ago that we have done that. Yep. Uh, and of course, with trusted dealers, uh, we do vet uh, their operation. We want to make sure that these are actual dealers. Sure. Uh, the businesses exist and these are trusted people that we can deal with. Um, so, right after the MCO, uh, what we did was uh, we are looking at it from another point of view. It's like, okay, now that we have trusted dealer, how far more security we can actually offer to buyers okay so okay for a lot of buyers right now if you go to any social media you hear people saying that i paid money to this company i paid money to this sales guy correct uh then the guy just went missing or correct. The guy exactly want to respond to me yep. so have the kind of problems happening in the industry today sure uh, i won't say necessarily those are dealers uh, they could be scam artists and so on but uh, for us, we want to introduce something that improves the safety and okay. works as a form of guarantee for car buyers. I, which, which is important. I mean, yeah. if, if you're looking at investing a sizable amount for a car, mm -hmm. you would like that added layer of security. Yes, definitely. Uh, because if you look at it, right, cars is the second most expensive investment. But in Malaysia, cars. yes, exactly. Yeah. exactly. And uh, so what is buyer protection. Buyer protection is a form of guarantee. Okay. Uh, so it is just introduced a couple of months ago, so about three months ago. Uh, and we have about 340 dealers participating in the buyer protection. Okay. Program, okay. Uh, where 340 dealers will represent about 170,000 stocks in Kali's wow. today. Okay. Okay. That means, um, how does the protection works? So Kali's my becomes like an escrow, escrow service. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, so, when you, when you want to buy a car, you will contact the seller, you will look at the car, you, you understand everything about the car. Uh, but there are also instances where people, once they pay booking and then if the loan didn't approve, then they find it hard for them to, to get cover their deposit. Correct, yes, right? yes, which, which correct. Which is not right because if the loan didn't approve, no one should burn any deposit. Exactly, you should be able to get what you put out. Yes, yeah. unless it was, uh, it was actually agreed upon. That oh, it's a non-refundable, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. there's the non-refundable, yeah. uh, then it would make sense, probably. Uh, but with this, what we'll do is, uh, instead of a car seller holding the deposit, okay. Carlis.my will be doing that on behalf. 
Ah, uh, okay. Because of the relationship that we have with all these uh, dealers. Sure. Uh, so they trust us. Right. So they have of no course. issue with us holding money right. for them. Right. Uh, as long as the money is in. Is in, yes. Yeah. So that proves that the buyer is actually committed to purchasing the vehicle. And then they will actually put all the legwork into getting the loan approved and getting everything else sorted. Okay. And once the loan is approved and everything else is sorted and before delivery, uh, then only we'll release all the payment. Okay. Uh, to, to the dealer and sure. uh, let the transaction begin. Right. So I suppose we are acting in this sense. Carlis is acting as an intermediary between the the buyer and the and the dealer. Yes. And we're guaranteeing the buyer that you don't have anything to fear. Yep. We are here now. Yep. Right. So we are going to hold your 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 money in escrow. Yep. Only when all the paperwork is done, mm. the payment goes through. We will then will we then release it to the dealer. Yes. I um, see. Okay. And just in case if anything goes bad in between. Sure. Uh, we will refund the money to the buyer. No questions asked. I I I mean that's 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 there's really no other way to to give you a better guarantee than that. Really. Yeah. It's it's. Yeah. So basically, when you buy cars through our selected dealers. Yeah. Uh, that. 340 selected dealers who sign up with us. Yeah. Uh, so basically, it's guaranteed. Yeah, exactly. Anything goes yeah. bad in between. Or yeah. Your loan didn't approve, or you find any issues, or maybe you just have a change of heart. Yeah, that that happens. That happens. Yeah, that's heart, true. Like that's true. <laughs> buyer's remorse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's true. You can always call in. Say, I need a cancellation. I can't proceed with this. Uh, give us your reasons. Yeah. Uh, and then after that, we just refund your payment. Okay, brilliant. I think as an extension of buyer protection, we've also introduced a slew of other initiatives as, as well, I believe, under, under Carly's, essential, uh, Carly's Essential Services. Yes. Right? So, what is encompassed under Carly's Essential Services? So, uh, in the very easier way to, I mean, in a simpler way to describe uh, essential service, it is right. like a service that uh, to help consumer to consumer transactions. Okay. Okay. So okay. today, imagine if you are selling a car. Sure. How would you do it? Uh, I would probably list it on Carlis. and then yeah. you know, hope somebody calls me. We arrange a viewing. Yeah. So you will list it. I think a lot of people would know that. Okay? Yeah. You can list it for free in Carlis. Yeah. Uh, then when I get a buyer, I will show the car to buyer. Correct. And then we will uh, agree to a price of it. Correct. And then what next? Who's gonna submit to the bank? Uh, Who's gonna do the like, yes. Puspacom inspection? Yes, uh, the dreaded Puspacom inspection. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, and I think uh, that is the part that scares a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'll give you an example. Uh, if I have a Prodom IV, uh, sure. It's a 2005 Prodom IV X. Uh, let's say I took a longer loan, a longer ten-year loan, like a nine. Nine-year year loan, loan, right? Yeah. yeah. Which is quite common. It is. Yes. Um, and by the time I wanna sell the car now. Uh, my car is probably worth twenty eight thousand in the classifieds, yeah. where people are yep. advertising for twenty eight thousand yep. or twenty nine thousand. Yeah. Um, my bank balances is probably close to that. True. Twenty nine thousand, twenty eight thousand, somewhere yep. around there. Yeah. Uh, but the dealer is only willing to take up my car for twenty three, twenty four thousand. Okay. Which is understandable because. They have to make business, Yeah, exactly. Right? It's a business. So for yes. someone to buy your car in, put it on the yard, fix it up, and sell it. There needs to be a profit because Correct. someone's in it for you know no profit. Yep. And because of that, uh, times are bad right now. Sure. You know, I, we understand sure. a lot of Malaysians are facing a bit of difficulties in terms of you know, they're trying to cut their commitments. True. And basically, these people are stuck. I can't sell my car because why? Number one is I don't know how to go about it. True. I don't know whether yeah. uh, my buyer is quality buyer. I yeah. don't know how to qualify it. I have no idea how to run through the whole procedure. Okay, that's one part. The second part is, even though if the loan is obtained, uh, I got a runner to help me send it to Puspacom for, for inspection and yep. get everything else sorted. The biggest problem I face is because my loan amount was still 28,000. Correct. The bank insists- It's not going to, you have to full settlement yes. before. Yeah. So we are talking about people who are trying to cut commitments. Correct. And if I am in the position to chuck another 30,000 out. I'm not in that situation. I don't have to sell the car. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So, yeah. So I think this is the part where it's very important that you know essential service basically help you solve all this. Ah. All this meaning okay. if you have a car buyer, right. Tyson Car is not my for free. Okay. okay. When you see a buyer, you negotiate a buyer, you guys come to a conclusion, okay? Come to an exact transaction detail. Come to us. Okay. Tell us exactly how it's gonna work. Okay. Okay. Deposit will be packed to us. Okay. We will help you hold the money. Okay. Because again, 
it's all about buyer safety. Correct. We don't want the seller to take the money and then when we say, disappear. Correct. Disappear. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So deposit will be parked to us. Okay. We hold the money on behalf. We will help the buyer to get the loan. Okay. okay. Loan application will be done by us. Right. Inspection will be done by us. Okay. Uh, then up to up to all the way of title transfer, even uh, your road tax, your insurance will be done by us. We can also offer you extended warranty on top of it. So of course it comes at fee. What's this gonna cost us, KY? Because I mean, looking at the looking at the services being offered, mm -hmm. I'm guessing it's gonna cost me in the region of four five thousand ringgit or so i think in the industry a lot of people are judging about three three plus uh, okay okay and oh, i wasn't far uh, off yeah us, uh, this is a genuine intention for us to help car buyers and car sellers okay uh, so we are only pricing it at 1200 ringgit for this service end-to-end -end service which means all the way from your Wow. Application okay. Or okay. Loan, okay. All the way okay. Until you, the title transfer is done with your insurance and with tax all sorted out. Okay. Yeah. So, so I mean, so the only thing I'm doing mm -hmm. basically is listing my car on Carlist. Listing your car on Carlist. Yes. Uh, once you have a buyer. Correct. Once yeah. everything is firm. Yeah. Come to us. Yeah. Talk to us. Uh, and we'll guide you through. We'll tell you exactly how it's gonna work. Or we'll give you a timeline. Yeah. You don't have to waste your time because sometimes I think the biggest challenge for a car seller is. I have a buyer but I'm not sure how quality is this buyer. That's true. Uh, what if the buyer is asking me to hold for like a month or two when he's trying to like secure some loan from any bank? Yep. Uh, so this is also the part where we come in with our expertise and we can explain to the car seller yeah. uh, whether or not the documents are up to standards uh, yeah. for loan approval. Correct. So we, we are also I think in that sense playing the role of, of helping the, the, the seller determine if this is indeed a good quality buyer or not. Yes. Yep. Okay. At the same time, for car buyers, we can help them from application of loan all the yep. way up to selling car. Uh, and I think the best part about this deal is that because we just started doing it, right, uh, right. So we're actually throwing uh, a little bit promo. Uh, oh. So it's not 1,002 now. <laughs> okay. Basically, the price was 1,002. Okay. Because of the early bird, we are giving it at 900 ringgit only. So it's less than 1,000 ringgit. We sort everything out for you. Okay, so when is this? going for until when are we going to have that early bird promo of 900 ringgit the early bird promo of 900 ringgit will uh, be running until the end of the year oh so, so we are following the sst discount period lah <laughs> yeah. ah exactly. okay uh, yeah. okay brilliant uh, and the other part about this uh, essential service is also for sellers okay because a lot of sellers will like what i mentioned earlier they'll find it very difficult for them to pay off their loan correct so correct we can help them pay off the loan as well Ah, yeah. okay. So how does that work? How how is Kali's helping the the seller pay off the loan? So let's say uh, take the scenario that I just provided. Okay. Uh, my my V is worth uh, about twenty eight thousand. Let's sure. say if I sold it to, if I have a buyer for twenty eight thousand, okay, let's agree at that price. Yep. Now, uh, my bank loan is also twenty eight thousand. Correct. So obviously I can't afford to pay off everything right now. Correct. Uh, so I can come to Kali's and Kali's will actually help me. Uh, pay off that twenty eight thousand loan. Okay. So that the car the can transfer. Transfer. Okay. And only the bank amount, the loan amount, will disperse back to Carlis. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Understood. Understood. So as I described earlier, from the seller's point of view, we are also helping sellers to take on their settlement for their vehicle. Okay. Uh, yep. So basically, when you sell your car, uh, the bank expects you to to pay up. make. Full payment. Full payment. Only then I get the deed in my name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. exactly. Uh, so we will make all necessary uh, arrangements. Okay. Uh, for for us to go and settle the loan, uh, so that we can help the seller uh, to transfer the car. Right. Because if because then if if I'm the seller and like we spoke earlier, mm -hmm. if I had the money to settle it, I wouldn't be in this situation. True. Right. But if Carlis now takes that on, I don't have to fork out the full settlement in order to be able to sell my car. Yes. And that's a big big deal. It is. It yeah. is. So we are, we're trying to address the gap where sellers are getting stuck in a transaction. Yeah. So yeah. at many times they actually have a buyer. True. They have ready buyers, they advertise their car, they know exactly what they're doing. But until the point where the bank tells them, no, we're not going to cancel off your ownership. 
you cannot transfer ownership because you must settle, settle your the, car exactly. before the transaction. Yeah. And they get stuck. Of course. Yeah, and they have to call off the deal and many times they have to reimburse the buyer. And now they are back in square one because they probably cannot afford exactly. the monthly commitments anyway. Exactly. So that's that's not helping. And, and of course. I think this is the part where Kalis.my actually comes in uh, and we try to solve this problem. Right. Well. And I think it's a real problem that we are, yeah, it is. We are it using is. different methods. Uh, basically an online method for us to help them solve it. Yeah. So how do I find out more information about this now? I mean, we, you, you've given us the, the, the lowdown on it, but if I want to now, you know, dial down, get the exact details, yep. how do I go about doing it? So it's very easy. If you want to go through essential services, all you need to do is just to log in to carlisbid.my. Okay. As in Carlis, Carlis Bid, B -I -D. B -I -D. Okay. Dot my. Okay. And Carlis Bid is actually our services for us to help uh, our consumers. Okay. Yep. So once I'm there, then the steps are, are clearly outlined. I just get in touch with Carlis and then they take it over from there. Yes. Basically, if you're interested, anyone is interested in the service, uh, you just have to call us or just book an appointment with us. Okay. Uh, and our tele support will come and assist. Okay, well, that, that's, 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 that's it's a lot easier than, than I anticipated. Okay. It is very simple. Now, being in the... So, this is, this is, this is going to... We, we want to look at your collective wisdom. Okay, yes. so you've been in the, in the car industry from the time of, of uh, newspaper classifieds yep. to motor <laughs> trader classifieds. Yep. And now, we've got online classifieds. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, how soon do you think or how close do you think we are to the time where we sit at our laptops we pick our car, we pick the accessories, the customization, we pick the financing options, right? We click send and the car is delivered to us. Or our Malaysians, uh -huh. see very touchy feely, must feel first. Hi. Okay, so this is based on my experience. Uh, of course. So, back in the days where a lot of times where you don't have smartphone, you don't have technologies around it. Sure. A lot of people are very dependent on that. The feeling of I need to have something that I can hold the tangible, touch, yes, detail, yes, uh, the tangibility yes, of the product. yes, yes. Um, so I think those days are gone. Uh, people don't need to feel uh, a newspaper just to be reading news or okay. magazine just because they're reading a magazine. Okay. Everything actually happens on your phone, right yeah, now, yeah, true, true, yeah. Um, so I think consumers have evolved, and it's not up to what uh, the sellers want to practice, but it's very much up to where the consumers is have. coming or yes. where they are right yeah so if we look from a Carly's point uh, in this business yeah I think the consumer still wants the same thing okay uh, same thing meaning uh, everyone wants choices of course so of if course. I want to buy a car I want to go to a place where I have the most choices uh, everything is up to date yep uh, I have trust True. Okay, because the guys are not going to take my money and run away. Oh, yes. And if you are worried, always use our buy protection. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I want to be in a website that has the freshest stock as well. Of course. So of course. you need volume, choices, uh, trust, as well as freshest stock. So we cover that part. Okay. Uh, I think the next phase where consumers are looking at is on the security. That's where buy protection comes in. Yeah. Uh, I think it will be convenience that's where essential services are coming in as well. Yeah, that's true. So Especially when we all lead such hectic lives these days. Yeah. I mean, who's got time to spend a whole day at Puspacom really? Exactly. Um, you know, and if you remember perhaps 15 to 20 years back, yeah. when we are looking for cars, what do we do? What, what do, we do? Uh, we'll drive a car down to, let's say, like a busy road. Let's say in Kajang. Like, yeah. You know, the, the yeah, Kajang yeah, 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 yeah. There will be so many dealers. Yes. I'll park a car and then I'll hope one dealer. What? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Car shopping, yeah. Car shopping. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's what we call car shopping two years ago. Yeah. But car shopping yeah. is not. It's, it's not that yeah, anymore. It's not that no, anymore. it's so not. Yeah. Car shopping is where consumers spend their time. And I think a lot of consumers spend most of their time researching online. Yeah. Everything is online right now. So yep. from picking the car that I think I want yeah all the way to funneling down to that exact car that car. hey yeah this I is really the one like I want car. yeah this is the one yeah okay yeah right and the showroom visit is just to confirm the deal yeah so can we replace that showroom visit yeah with the online solution can we I think it's possible okay take time right uh, we we, I think we are transitioning there like you said slowly I think we are already transitioning yeah there. We are transitioning yeah there. so the next part will be having consumers to feel 
uh, I think most importantly is you know the, the whole trust factor must be yeah there. you're right so you're right how do we offer more solutions to help buyers determine whether what they're getting is legit yeah, uh, yeah. if the car is advertised as accident free you know never repainted before no doubt no mileage and yeah. everything else yeah how can we help them determine that yeah. I think that is that, that is the key yeah and um, <clears throat> because we have colors bit and I think that what we are trying to develop is we want to develop more products that we can actually help buyers to determine yeah uh, I think I suppose the, the, the whole ecosystem of, yeah. of car ownership yes. from the research part to the part where the car arrives literally at your, at your doorstep yes with the big red bow or something yeah yep. yeah exactly okay yeah because yeah, I think even even from a lot of, of manufacturers point of views I think uh, if you're buying a new car that is mm. they're offering you VR experiences now online where you know you get to see a 360 of the car you know and you get to yeah you you, you don't have that physical aspect of touch but it's almost as if what you're seeing online is what you will receive at your door if you, if you go ahead with the purchase yep. and I think that's what we are that's where we are moving into and given the current climate we are in I suppose it's not surprising that that we have to innovate to give consumers the the solution uh, of not being able or not being present at a location yep. to buy a car. And I think yeah. uh, what would be really interesting is to see uh, people being able to buy and sell cars uh, cross regions. Yeah. On the cross region basis. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, of course. Previously, usually, like uh, if I'm located in JB. Very likely, I'll visit a JB dealer. Yes. Uh, or I'll take a day trip and come over to KL to buy a car. Yeah. Uh, it's very yeah. rarely that I go to Penang to buy a car that I like. No. Uh, but I think with online solutions, this could be possible. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, basically, we can help uh, car sellers and car buyers to connect and yeah. to have that safety in place for both parties. Right. Yeah. I think end of the day, I think you summed it up in one word in the sense that if there is trust between both parties then the options are, are quite limitless yeah. with, with the vehicle that we already have that is car list okay we ask this question to everyone that comes on the show okay. so you have to answer it as well yep. if money was not an object mm. what would be in your three car garage so I'm only limited to three cars three cars okay. three car garage so obviously if you ask if you say money is not an object yes in a very fantasy way, people will tell you it's a Pagani. <laughs> it's a <concept. laughs> so on, right? But I think realistically. Yes. Realistically. Um, yep. So, I, I have a family. So okay. In a realistic way, if I have three car garage, yep. I can pick any cars I want. Yep. Um, I would go for three elements. Okay. One is something that I can use as a daily. Sure. One that I will use uh, as a perhaps like a long distance traveler. Okay. And one that will be a fun car. Okay. Right? So the Tauge car lah. Yeah, uh, the fun car. Yes, I think the fun yes. car to have for me uh, would be a 911 Carrera 4, perhaps the 992 version. You know, everybody that's come on this on this on this show so far, yep. this has a Porsche in their garage. So, I I I suppose the driver's seat is quite apt lah. You know, they know what they're talking about. <laughs> everybody has a Porsche. Yeah. Okay. It depends. I mean, but I think most of the interviewees that you have are probably car guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fun. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so that would be the fun car. Okay. The the cruiser. Yes. Okay. Something that will drive your family to like you know holidays and something else. Um, that would be a BMW F ninety M five. He's got M five. Okay. Yeah. So okay. M5, that would okay. Be my Okay, that's the cruiser. Okay, okay. So, what about the daily? Yes. Right. Yes. <laughs> Don't laugh. But uh, he's gonna go EV, isn't he? No. Okay. Actually, the as for the daily, I would pick the Proton X50. Whoa! <laughs> because I think you you want something that works. Sure. Something that fits the purpose. Sure. Sure. Um, something that you have no problems maintaining sure right? sure at the same time a vehicle that you can drive you can go anywhere you can go shopping malls yeah you can go to work and yeah you can park anywhere yeah and i think it's just the right size you know, you know, know what having right having personally <laughs> driven the x50 yeah. i can say i will say and i have said it before that it is a really good buy yeah. for the price that you're spending for it and for the tech that you're getting with it 
it's hard to go wrong it's hard to nitpick with it i mean anything i think anything that anyone uh, says about it would be nitpicking really yeah. right but have you had a test drive yet i'm thinking about doing it this afternoon <laughs> test drive so you have to let us know okay what happens after that okay all right all right just before we let ky go though we've got a speed round so we'll ask him a few questions and see how he responds okay so i'm just going to throw words at you and you say yes or no okay I'll give you two. I'll give you two options. You don't say yes or no, okay? Okay. So okay, why? Speed round. Here we go. Roti canai nasi lemak. Nasi lemak. BMW Mercedes. BMW. Six cylinder, four cylinder. Six cylinder. Wow. Okay. Ah, what else? What else? What else? Supercar Blondie. Yes or no? No. Hahaha. 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 Thank you for having us. Thank you for being with us, KY. Right? <laughs> Who is coming up next? Ah, the next one we hear is uh, quite a big name in the local motoring scene, lah. But we'll see, lah. Who it is? I, I hear, I, I hear that he drives with the counter steering. That's what I heard too. <laughs> That's what I heard too. But we'll have to see when he comes on next. Right. Till the next one. Take care. Stay safe. Bye bye. <laughs>